<sighs> Boy, what I just heard. What I just heard. I said this for, I don't know how many years I've been saying this for, that, that they've been trying to take us back and put us back in chains, put us back into slavery, throwing us back into those curses. In Mississippi, okay, in Mississippi, they are supposedly bringing back or have brought back the Jim Crow laws okay right now in Mississippi yeah Mississippi burning that, that that one they have already brought back or they're bringing back Jim Crow laws I feel like that's an opportunity for us to rejoice <laughs> that means the Lord is that much closer to crack in that sky. 111 on my timer. See, people keep saying uh, 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 when the Lord comes back, when the Lord comes back, he's already here. One, two, three on my timer. He's already here. The event just hasn't happened. He's here. The Lord is here. He's here. In the earth already. Moving about doing his thing. Can you not see it? For I am doing a new thing. Shall you not perceive it? Shall you not know it? The presence of God is here. For one within us. Who do you think he's working through? Us. Throughout this earth realm. We are his vessels. He's working through every last one of his children. Period. So them reinstating Jim Crow laws. Trying to instill fear. In people. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Two, three, four on my timer is not going to work. Those of us who know our father, we know the plans that he has for us. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans that I have for you. To prosper you, not to harm you, to bring you to an expected end. Meaning it's already done. Meaning I'm going to bring you to the end that I said to you that I was going to bring you to. Meaning that I'm going to... Complete the good work that I began in you. Period. 316. John 316. On my timer. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Believe in him. Not what the world is doing. Not what the world is threatening you with. Because really. They're threatening us. God's chosen ones. Really. That's who they're talking to. Why do you think they're trying to bring Jim, Jim Crow laws back? Who were the What was the Jim Crow laws for? Our ancestors that were brought over here on slave ships. The tribe of Judah. And I ain't talking about these uh, Hebrew Israelites out here to be spewing hate in the street. I ain't talking about that. When I say Judah, I'm talking about the real tribe of Judah. Our ancestors that were brought over here stacked up like sardines on slave ships. Shoot, they did. Chris, they talk about what Christopher Columbus. The, the, remember the Nina, the Penta, the Santa Maria, the name of those ships? I, me personally, I believe those were slave ships too. I believe uh, that he had slaves on those ships too. Period. 
That's what I think of when I think of those names of those ships. So then bringing back any Jim Crow, uh, Jim Crow laws. We won't be under those Jim Crow laws. We won't be going back to no chains and 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 and, and net locks and, and bells and with, we're not no <laughs> no that's done with that's done with we were already bought back with a price okay so Jesus shed his blood for so that we can be reconciled back to the father and we have been and we are so Jim Crow law who Mm, five, five, five on my timer. Keep your eyes open. The show's about to start. <laughs> Peace.